Okay, I think I have it all nailed down now. If I start the carrots at 11 30 tomorrow, they should be done right when the turkey needs its last basting, and everything will be ready for our noon meal. Did I tell you guys I'm using a new brine? You may have mentioned it. The brine glands are going nuts. I wasn't listening. Tell me again. Gee, no. Well, you can add orange peel. Orange peel, flavor, you tell us, Bob. Don't overthink it. You get yourself all wound up, and it's a real turn off. I'll have to say it out loud so I get it right. And you know, most people would be turned on by a new brine. Uh, what? I need help. I was supposed to go to my sister's for kidding like I do every year, but now my mom's flying in, so it's easier for my sister to pick her up and then come to my place at dinner. Oh, how fun! How many people you have? I don't know. My sister, husband, my mom, my mom's new slightly aged appropriate boyfriend. It's not fun, Linda. I gotta cook and what? Uh, set out plates, right? Is that what you do? I don't know how to do any of that stuff. Okay. Come over around me. Tell you, I don't know. We closed early, and I still barely have enough time to do everything I have to do for our Thanksgiving. I have a new bride I'm trying, and uh, I was thinking about spatchcocking. Spatchcocking with those hips, honey, no. Jane, it's when you take the backbone out of the turkey and you press flat, it cooks more evenly. I thought women had to deal with unfair body expectations. Well, come on, I'm desperate. You're asking you. Help me out. All right. Well, I, I guess I could write out some basic instructions. Well, right, 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 no. Come on. Where's your turkey day spirit? It won't take much time. We'll come over and help you, you right? Fine. Wah, wah. Louise. You're coming too, Miss Missy. Many hands make work easier. Something. <laughs> wah, wah, to you, Louise. Yeah, that's not how it goes. You sound ridiculous. Well, we've got your good bird, Teddy. Almost at home. That I wish I was with right now. I miss him. But that's okay. So first, I'll show you how to do the rub. I can use the rub. I'm holding a little spelling test tension right back here. We're talking about the bird, Jane. We're gonna rub it. Okay. So where are we gonna set up the table? Here in the middle of the room? So that's exactly where you want your guests to be underwhelmed. Louise. Oh, uh, I'm just that we put everything on the coffee table and we sit on the couch, right? Very sad. Okay, and then we pull the chairs over. No. Right? I suppose he goes, right? Uh, Tell you what, you and Bob start the food and the kids and I'll set up out here, okay? Uh, that sounds great. Okay, I think there's some tables in the closet here, but stay out of that room. Nothing much in there, just a couple of personal things. All right, we'll figure it out. Go, go and I cook. Bam, right? That's what Emil does. Bam. Teddy, go! Right. Okay, go. Right, yes, go. Huh, last stop. Like final blink the chest tapes. And all thermometers. If those tips could talk. Kids, don't touch those. Put that stuff back. Let's keep looking for the candles. Don't touch anything gross. Okay, Teddy, Thanksgiving is the most important meal of the year, which makes the turkey like the king of foods. Here he comes, right? Yeah, up the okay. All right, and the trick is with the rubs is to go under the skin. All right, so you start at the bottom, yeah. and then you massage in the rub and gently make your way to the neck. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Think of the meat as the canvas, and the rub as the paint. A lot of metaphors, Bobby. You know what? I'm already doing it, so I'll just finish. Right, you finish. Yeah. Because fun. It's actually making me sick. Is that normal? I'll tell you what. You can start peeling the carrots if you want one less thing to do tomorrow. Right, right. All right. right. Yeah. Give yeah. me space. Okay, just grab the peeler right there and peel the carrots. This? That's a spatula. I that. <laughs> this? That's a ladle. It's that thing right next to the carrots. This? That's the spatula again. Oh, no, right. Yes. It's right. right there. It's the only thing that looks like you can peel a carrot. Right. Why didn't you just say that? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Teddy, easy, easy, easy. Uh, uh, you know what? Once I'm done with the rub, we'll, we'll put this in the fridge and I'll help you with that. Is it peeled enough? It's not peeled at all. Still no candles. But lots of chopsticks. Maybe we can arrange some like candles. If he's holding gas, over in real pretty. Oh, never mind. It's still the penny. Oh my! You'll hear me bragging about it. Let's check in here. But Teddy said not to go in there. He's probably adding something creepy, like a dead body or an indoor hot tub. Ah, let's just take a little peek. <gasps> oh my God! Teddy's order. Oh, so just snap off the top, huh? Uh, that's it. Nice and easy. Off with the heads. Bob, <laughs> <laughs> uh, open up. Oh, head flip. That's the part you don't need. You do it. Ah, uh, <clears throat> good. Give me one. So tomorrow you just take this guy out and put him in the oven. Whoa, 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 whoa. don't say a word. I'm gonna write it all down. Let me get some paper. Ah! Teddy? Ah. What the? Uh, oh. Surprise! Oh. We found your dining room. Ah. We'll clean it out so you can have Thanksgiving dinner in there. What? No, that's a storage room. Oh, whoa. But we found a dining table under all the stuff. Oh, and it's abuse. Look at those legs. I let that hold my turkey. Right? Yep. And Jean Louise and I are trying to see if they find the best thing. How do you decide what the best thing is? You yeah, know what? When you see it. I'm the front runner with that Gerald Ford bobblehead that doesn't bobble. Knock knock. Who's there? A box of doorknobs. A box of doorknobs too. Yeah, yeah, the box of doorknobs for some reason. New front runner. <laughs> oh, good knock knock. Okay, now let's let's get all that stuff back. Come on, guys. That'll be fun, right? Put all the put, the, put the stuff back in this closet. Let's say, old Teddy. Yeah, we take this just as long to put everything back as it would to fix up the dining room. Where you'll have the best Thanksgiving ever. You're welcome. Oh my God. I can't believe all of this was in one room. You guys were supposed to see it. I can't wait to grow up and get my own place with a room full of newspapers and anything parts and what is this? Some sort of hookah? It's an aquarium, Bob. Do you have an aquarium? No, I was gonna get the pop working and then go from there. Hmm. Wanna talk about the two-legged chairs? No, I do not. Uh Linda, can I have a what are we doing in the kitchen? Are we sure we might get into this? Teddy has a hoarder. I thought he had so little, but he has too much. Exactly, Bob. And that hoarder needs our help. Shouldn't we call it a doctor or a TV show? Bob, he's our friend. We need to be here for him, okay? Then we came here to help him cook his Thanksgiving dinner, and we did that. We don't have time to de his dining room. But the dining room is part of Thanksgiving. When he sits at that table, he says what he's thankful for, he'll say Linda. And the rest of those darn belches. Oh, oh fine. Oh, your breath. Uh, okay, Teddy, uh, all we have to do is get rid of some of this stuff, right? What? I, I mean, we're gonna change the location of some of it from inside your house to not inside your house. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh boy. You have a nice Thanksgiving with your family at the dining room table. The living room is nice enough. Plus, there's a big stain on the table. Yeah, how'd that get there? I sanded it down to refinish it, but then I started working on this cuckoo clock to fix that, and then the cuckoo scared me, and I saw grapes everywhere. If we find that son of a bitch, cuckoo, I call it for best thing. Oh, well, that's what tablecloths are for. Tablecloth? What's a tablecloth? How about a sheet? I can't do that. I just have to go on my bed. And that one's probably got enough food stains on it. Well, time out in a little game. Find something we can use as a way to cover up the stain on the table, okay? Teddy, I might regret asking this, but why do you have all this stuff? It's not stuff, Bob. It's things. Mm -hmm. Things I'm fixing up on a handyman, you know? Right, and I'm a cook, but I don't keep 600 pounds of food in my dining room. No, no never mind. You're, you'll be fine. I'm gonna write down instructions for your dinner. Okay, Teddy. I heard of a technique for decluttering where you hold something up and you ask, does this love me? Go on. Does this stool love me? Yes. But is it in love with you? Teddy and a stool sitting in a tree. T-R-E-E-E-E-E. Kids, shh. What about this? An old telephone without a receiver. That loves me. It really does. Like, almost too much. It's embarrassing. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to put these in the piles that I think will help you decide whether or not they love you, okay? Well, what are you going to do with all the stuff that doesn't love him? Burn it? In the alley? Maybe. Now, Teddy, can you get a dumpster over here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. A dumpster? I was thinking, like, maybe just a couple of armloads of stuff. Maybe a small shopping bag. See if we can get that filled up. Teddy, look at all this. It's a lot. I know, but getting the dumpster on such short notice, the permits, the red tape. What am I supposed to do? Just call the dumpster fairy? You know construction people, right? I guess I
study. This is the pile that likes him, but is ready to move on. And this pile hates him. Hates him. Okay, what's the fourth pile? All that stuff loves me. Loves her. I'm keeping that. Huh. So everyone grab as much as you can from these two piles, and let's take them to the dumpster. I promise I'll be super, super gentle when I throw them in the dumpster as hard as I can. Uh, and I call this magic eight ball with all the water drained out. Do that thing, big guy! Impossible. Hmm, my outlook for being that is not so good. Isn't this great? So nice and clean. And your dining room looks so beautiful. Yeah, it is. I showed me all those things that we put in the dumpster. This is better. That's this is so much better. There he this is. is. This is a very, very great. I nice job, everybody. Boy, right. boy. Yeah, nice well, job. Well, we can help, so we should probably go, right? Okay. Good luck, Who needs luck when I got these polar rods? That was good, Pa. I'm a trypto fan of what you did to this turkey. Get it? It was so good, I ate so much, I can't even finish this. I? Well, I was going to say sentence. That yeah, was fine, I guess. What? No, the, the turkey was a little dry. That's why I got a van gravy. Or as I call it, turkey lube. You're crazy, Bob. It was good. And the timing of the yams was off. They were a little cold by the time everything else was done. Who cares? It's all the same temperature in here. 98 degrees Fahrenheit. I really wish I had spatch the turkey. We spent so much time at Teddy's. I didn't have time to get into it. Teddy's so lucky to have friends like us. We'll do it over there. If he's following my very clear instructions, then he should be doing just fine. Probably better than I did. Hello? Ah, I'm looking at your notes, but the fish is so bad. The green beans are burning, or they're already burnt. I didn't know if I was supposed to start the turkey yet. It's Teddy. He's not doing well. Wait a minute. I messed up our Thanksgiving. Teddy's sounds like a disaster. You know what this means? Please don't say we, we have, have to go to Teddy's to help with the Thanksgiving so I can redeem myself. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks for coming! Happy Thanksgiving! Why took you so long? Hey, uh, what, what happened to you? What? When? What? Yes! You look like you just got beat up by an Edward Sitterhand. I was rushing around trying to get everything ready for today. I caught my shirt on the dresser handle. I turned around to look at my arm and I shot right into the door. Ah, uh, what happened to your cheek? I was trying to shave an old razor. I tried to top it out like I just got more wool paint, so I stopped. Is it noticeable? Yeah, but you're making it work. I smell something funky. Oh, what is that? Yeah, it's probably me. I get panic stink. Uh, I don't think that's a real thing. It is. Oh, it's real. What? It just smells kind of like my locker. Oh no. And now you know. Well, uh, maybe maybe take a shower. Yeah, I already had two. It just spreads the smell around. Well, once I get the food going, all anyone will smell is delicious turkey. Time to take back Thanksgiving. Get ready for turkey too. Judgment day. All right, let me get you a new shirt and uh, maybe wipe the blood off your face. Oh wait, what about some face for the table? That looks really stuck up a little. Good one, Teddy. This seems like a bubble letter situation. A BLS. So what are the names of your family? My sister and her husband are Dana and Dan, just with mom for my mom, she'll know what that means, and their boyfriend. Oh, uh, have I ever used his name? Me and my sister just call him Boy Toy, but we can't write that. Can we write that? Yeah. No, no, no. Let's just take a shot and go with Terry. Okay, here you go. Just let this on. Thanks, Linda. Oh, the smell. Here, yeah, I brought some aftershave for that. Ooh. No, let me just flick your bits. Yeah, right, yeah, here you go. Okay, all right. And a little on the cheeks. Ah, ah, sorry, sorry. Ah, oh, stop. So where should we put these bad boys? Definitely put my sister next to her husband, and my mom next to Terry, but who should I sit between? Well, how do you use it? I was a kid, I'm just between my parents, so they wouldn't argue so much. Did it work? Sometimes. My boy could yell. They would yell and yell, and then my neighbors would yell, shut up! And my mom would yell back, mind your own business, Fidelis, because you had problems last week! Linda, can I get a hand in here? Teddy, hold that stand out the backbone. It's how you get the turkey flat for smashcocking. What? I, I thought you wanted to see me do it. <laughs> Why is everyone so disgusted by turkey preparation? It's beautiful. No. Okay, but just watch this, Lynn. I have to crack the chest. You have to be pretty strong to do this. Good thing I. Yes, talk. Oh my face. Did I get you? Yes. Oh, oh, right in my mouth. Oh, wash it off quick. Oh, give me some wine. Give me oh, some wine. Yeah. Give me wine. Oh, oh. 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 Mm. Good wine. Good news, Teddy. The dinner will be ready right before your family arrives, and it's gonna be perfect. Teddy? Kids, have you seen Teddy? Not lately. We invited Teddy to join us on the floor, but he has an RSVP. We're taking a little table sitting break. You know we just ate an entire Thanksgiving meal, and now you're making us do stuff, right? Teddy. Teddy, where are you? Is he in the bathroom? Knock knock. No. Why does he need five punches? Four different modes. Oh my God. Teddy's family's on the way, and he's missing. This is awful. Well, that's good. You looked in every room twice. Make the you gone. Did you try tapping his food ball? This is bad. His family's coming in the perfect turkeys in the oven. He can't go far. Let's check outside. Teddy! 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 Here, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. Teddy? Is that you? No. Okay, sorry. <laughs> hey, Teddy. What are you doing? Fixing the chair, obviously. I don't know how I got in here. It's perfectly good. Uh, okay, but is this a good time to do that? It's a great time. I'm just fixing a couple of things. Maybe I'm going to move upstairs if I want to. Or it might be easier to just move a couple of things from upstairs down here. Live in the dumpster. Cheaper, right? Great lion. Kids, no. Teddy's not living in the dumpster. Yeah, Teddy, this stuff is going to the dump, and you need to come upstairs. This can't go to the dump, Bob. It's not trash. All this stuff can be fixed. You don't just give up on stuff. You can fix it. Oh, maybe okay to give up on the half a waffle maker? I'm saving that until I find the other half. I'm a fixer. I fix things. I've always been a fixer. I'm gonna fix that waffle maker soon. <gasps> oh my God, I'm having a brain swat. Teddy, you sat between your parents when they would argue. You were the peacemaker. You were trying to fix things. Oh yeah, your mom and dad are the two halves of the waffle maker. That makes you a waffle. It's probably why I like butter so much. Oh, Teddy, I'm sorry. We did this all too fast. We pushed you too hard. Yeah, you were just trying to help in kind of a judgy way. Well, if keeping stuff to fix helps get you through the day, then what's the big deal? It doesn't hurt anybody, right? Yeah, we all have our things. Dad gets weird about Thanksgiving. I, I, I don't get weird. I care too much. Do you be shopping? What? Mom has her wine. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Jean. But this isn't my thing. I mean, Thanksgiving happens once a year. It's not weird to try and make it perfect. You, you guys are weird. Hello? Oh, hey. Nothing. What do you mean it sounds like I'm in a dumpster? It's just kind of echoey in here because of my couch. Oh, it did. Fizz. Okay, then I, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. That was my sister. My mom is her flight, and now my sister's staying at the airport so she can pick her up in the morning. Oh no! Oh, no, this is great. I'm off the hook. Come tomorrow is better. Tomorrow's better. Tomorrow's way better. No pressure for a perfect meal or perfect setting. We'll just hang out. Uh, I, I guess it's, it's great. Just um, that was a lot of work, completely for nothing. I'll get over it. But Teddy, now you're alone on Thanksgiving. I'm fine. I'm just gonna bring some of my stuff back upstairs. Wait, the turkey's gonna be ready in an hour, and you have a whole Thanksgiving dinner up there, and you know we're here, so. Oh, hey, then why don't you join me? Yeah, oh, yeah that's oh. a good idea, Teddy. Mm. Thank you. I mean, we might as well say, right? No, oh, and we'll help you carry the stuff you want back up. Well, well, I'm with her. Yeah, my arms are pretty tired from the Kids, we're helping grab something. Hey, look, the other half of the maker. You found it. No, that thing. I win. Wait, no, drink eight ball. Yeah, you're right. How? We gotta get out of this upstairs. Well, that was the last of it. The stuff you wanna keep is back where it was, and then some. Okay, my redemption dinner is served. Wait, did you bring broken chunks of concrete up here? Yeah, that's good rebar. You just break off the concrete and voila, free rebar. Free bar. Okay, well, let's eat while everything's hot.